Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you. My name is Joss and I love to talk about fragrance and perfume with you and I'm so glad you're here. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as well as following me on TikTok and Instagram. On Instagram, I post a daily fragrance layer and combination for every day. So be sure to follow me there at joss.jane and it's the same on TikTok. Today, I'm really excited to be sharing with you new fragrances from KKW Fragrance. So that stands for Kim Kardashian West Fragrances. And the newest collection from KKW is the Jeff Latham II collection. So they came out with a Jeff Latham collection maybe four to six months ago. And I did buy all of those. I have those, I ended up buying them on Mercari because by the time I decided I wanted them, they were no longer available on the KKW Fragrance website. So this new collection came out a few weeks ago and I'm very excited to share that I have bought all three of the new Jeff Latham collection fragrances. Partially because I think the first collection was really good. So I was banking on the second collection being very good and less importantly, but still kind of important. I think the bottles are so cute. I'm also going to be sharing with you my entire KKW fragrance collection just for fun. So I've just unwrapped these and I've only smelled one so far. I was really, really excited about Caramel Orchid. So I have smelled that one. I think we'll talk about that one first. This is what the box looks like. I bought all three of these for $110 free shipping on the KKW website, which I will link below if you're interested. Um, otherwise they sell for $40 each. So you save like $10 if you buy all three. So this is Caramel Orchid. They come in these really nice boxes. They open like this. So they're very cute. And then they come in these very, very eye-catching, I think, little vases. So Jeff Latham is a floral artist. So that's why they do the little bud vase that's why they do the little bud vase perfume bottles, which I think are, okay. I'm not gonna say cute again, because I just, I said that so many times with the first collection. So, but please know that I think these are very cute and I'll try not to say it again. <laughs> so this is Caramel Orchid. And I, like I said, I did smell this one. It smells really good. I'll put the notes up on the screen. It's very sweet and delicious and caramely and very cozy. And the other thing I love about these bottles is they are, they do appear to be porcelain. So I think that's really nice. They seem to be pretty well made and eye catching. So Caramel Orchid, my first impression is very good. I really enjoy this one. I think it's a unique combination and it does remind me of some things I've smelled before, but I think it's unique enough where it's, it's certainly worth owning in my opinion. The next one in this collection is called Iconic Gardenia. So I understand that one of Kim Kardashian's favorite flowers is gardenia. So a lot of her fragrances have gardenia and I love the note of, her, of gardenia too. So I'm kind of excited to smell this one. It looks like this. So this smells, I just dripped. This smells very good. Um, I don't know if this is a leaky bottle or if I just sprayed too much or what, but I made a little bit of a mess here. It smells really good. It smells very gardenia. Um, I'm not sure what the other notes are. I will put them on the screen. Um, first impression, very good. This is gonna be beautiful in spring. And it reminds me slightly of the Ellie Saab Essence Gardenia. I just have a travel spray of that one, but it reminds me of some other gardenia centric fragrances. So that's Iconic Gardenia. And the last one of this new collection is called Rare Fig. Looks like this. So this one is marketed as unisex. I think all fragrances are unisex, but they're not always marketed as such. This one they've actually marketed. Okay, that has a better sprayer than the last one. Hmm. So this is really, really pretty. It's, um, it's a very juicy and sweet fig. It has that kind of green quality that fig has. Very beautiful. I love a fig fragrance. I have several in my collection. And this is another one that's gonna be really beautiful for spring. So very good first impression with this one too. Again, this is Rare Fig. And this one has kind of a leaf pattern inside the box, which is kind of cool. And then I decided to pick up Opal Drip. I decided to pick up Opal Drip from the Opal Collection because I had reviewed these and I'll put my video up in the cards. I had reviewed the samples of these and this wasn't the favorite one of the three that I tried. There are only three in this collection. Okay, so the bottle looks like this. 
and it's interesting so it's got a flat side so when I saw the pictures of this I just assumed it was egg shaped but it is actually a flattened egg so that's kind of interesting so if I remember correctly this is kind of a gourmand so this is this is a really pretty gourmand I'm still getting a lot of the gardenia because that one kind of leaked all over the place but but this is really pretty it's it's very sweet it kind of reminds me of a Britney Spears um, fragrance plus maybe like the fantasy collection really pretty and again this is opal drip from the opal collection this was the newest collection prior to this jeff latham 2 collection coming out interesting packaging kind of an interesting box i have a feeling with these you're paying for you're paying a lot for the packaging with these because they have very nice packaging then i've got i will talk about the first jeff latham collection next this one is night iris and the funny thing about this first Jeff Latham collection is the notes in these fragrances don't necessarily reflect the names of the fragrance. So I think this does have an iris note, but it's definitely not the predominant note in my opinion. It's, this is the one that I think is kind of a fruit chuli and it's really pretty, but it smells, smells kind of like other fruit chulis that I've smelled like Flower Bomb and La Vie Belle and some of the flankers in those, in those lines. But this is a good fragrance. And again, this is Night Iris. And this one is called Air Jasmine. And so this is a very jasmine centric fragrance and very pretty. I love, I love white florals and a lot of the KKW fragrances seem to have kind of sweet white florals. This one is very pretty. I think this Jeff Latham collection really kind of knocked it out of the park. I've been so impressed with these. And like I said, I love the way the, the bottles look and I just think the fragrances are great too. And the last one from the first Jeff Latham collection is called Desert Rose. So this is the one that doesn't necessarily, I think there is a rose note, but some of the other fragrances really come through more strongly in this one than the rose, but it's still pretty. I like it. I haven't really tried layering these with each other, but I have tried layering these with a lot of other things and they layer well with lots of different Bath and Body Works products, lots of other perfumes. So again, this is Desert Rose from the KKW X Jeff Latham collection. And then I guess we will go chronologically um, the collection previous to that one was the nudes collection so this one is called nude sand if I'm remembering correctly I think the nudes collection has a lot of kind of fresh and herbaceous nude sand is a really nice floral I'm getting some patchouli it's kind of a fresh and green floral with a lot of patchouli in the background so that's nude sand this one is nude silk so this one is very fresh and this one doesn't seem to have the patchouli in it. I'm a little bit sensitive to patchouli. It doesn't always work for me. So this one is just more of a fresh and clean kind of fragrance. So I like this. This is again, Nude Silk, very nice. This one is my favorite from the Nudes collection. This one is Nude Suede. I don't remember offhand if, has, if this has a suede note. I think it does, but it's really pretty. Very gender neutral in my opinion. I feel like I'm getting tonka bean and some florals and maybe some fruit. And again, I love this one, Nude Suede. It's very pretty. And then I have a couple of the hearts. This one is called Silver Hearts, I believe. This one does have a slight metallic note, but I love this one. It's very citrusy and fresh. So if you like a nice citrus, almost reminds me of Moschino I Love Love, which is one I used to have. Very popular one, very pretty citrus. This kind of reminds me of that because it's that kind of bright, sweet citrus, which I like with a slight metallic note. Very pretty. This one is called Bay. I picked this one up for my Kiwi video. So I have a video on the note of Kiwi. So this one does have a Kiwi note among other. I think it's a floral fruity. It's really pretty. This does re remind me slightly of one of the Britney Spears fantasy perfumes, but it's very sweet. It's fruity, it's floral, slightly gourmand, very pretty. What I love, one of the things I love about the KKW fragrances is most of them come in these one ounce bottles. They definitely have some cute packaging and some unique packaging, but I love a one ounce bottle because with as many perfumes as I have, there's no way I'm going to use up like a 3.4 ounce bottle of most perfumes. So I love to have the smaller sizes and these are just so cute and they're so easy to store. So that was Bay, really nice. I think this one is called the Diamonds Collection and this is the Chloe Sapphire, I believe it's called, or Chloe Diamond, I'm not sure, but um, I like this packaging too. I think it's very cool. This is kind of a fruity floral, 
and I feel like I'm getting some resins. So this one has a little bit more depth and complexity to me than some of the other ones. I really like this. Again, this is Diamond Chloe. And then I have a couple of the crystals. So this one is Crystal Pear and Peony. I love this one. It's so pretty. This one was recommended by Alex from Among the Stars Perfume Reviews. He did a whole collection review. I think he's got the full KKW perfume collection. So I will link his channel below. He did a great job going through these perfumes, but I really like this one. I think this one was his favorite. And it's so pretty. Oh, it's so sweet and beautiful. And it reminds me of, this one actually reminds me of Ariana Grande's Ari. It's just that sweet, beautiful kind of marshmallowy and pear fragrance. Really like this. So again, this is Crystal Pear and Peony. I recently picked up Crystal Gardenia Oud. So I got this one on Mercari and I really like it. it. So I really like this one too. So you've got the florals, you've got the gardenia, and then you've got that Oud in the background that really kind of rounds it out, gives it more body, makes it more long lasting, a more intense perfume. So again, this is Crystal Gardenia Oud. The last one I have is called Fleur Fatale. And so this is not from KKW, this is from Kim Kardashian, which they're slightly different. So you can find the Kim Kardashian ones on FragranceNet, FragranceX, and Fragrance Buy. Um, I think I got mine on FragranceNet. You can't unfortunately find the KKW ones on those sites. You have to go to their website to buy these. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, and I don't think they have a very good return policy. Thankfully, I've never had to return one, but you can also find stuff on Mercari, of course. So this is, again, Fleur Fatale from Kim Kardashian. And I really like this one. It's a really pretty, it's a really pretty floral. This one's a really nice floral. Again, it seems like it's got white florals. It's just nothing too serious, just very effervescent and pretty and kind of good for spring and summer, I would say. I have a couple more on their way from Mercari. I picked up the Gold Heart. And I also picked up the red from the Diamonds Collection, which I think is Courtney. So I do have two more coming from Mercari, but I didn't want to wait with filming this because I wanted to share my first impressions on the new KKW X Jeff Latham collection. So here I came to edit this video and realized I forgot one. This one is the KKW X Chris fragrance, which was a collaboration between Kim Kardashian and her mom, Kris Jenner. It's got this kind of interesting relief picture on the, on the bottle on both sides. So it's an interesting bottle. I really like this fragrance. It's got, it's considered an amber floral. So I really like the notes of this fragrance. It's got white wine, Campari, Tajet, Freesia, Gardenia, Tuberose, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Cashmere Wood, Amber, and Vetiver. So I think this one smells really good. It's gender neutral to me. I know fig isn't a listed note, but I feel like I'm getting fig. It's just a very fresh, fresh fragrance. It seems like it'd be perfect for spring. So I didn't want to forget this one because I don't know how I just missed it on my shelf when I was pulling out all the KKW fragrances. But this KKW X Chris one, I think is it's still available and it's a really pretty white floral. Um, it's a very fresh white floral. It would be like a nice white t-shirt fragrance. So I definitely like this one. So it kind of surprised me. Not that I was expecting to dislike it, but I wasn't expecting to like this one as much as I do. So let me know if you've tried any of these. What, what is your favorite KKW or Kim Kardashian fragrance? I would love to hear it down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.